Praise the Lord. My name is Sunny George and I am the husband of his youngest daughter, Leela Ma. God gave me the privilege to be the son-in-law to this great man of God. Some of the things uh, I prepared is a, maybe it's a repetition, but I just want to add some to it. Abhijan was born in Iravi Beru, Kerala, India, that is close to Tiruvalla. Eventually he moved it to Kolni and he married uh, Tankamma in 1939, even though he was born. The birth uh, date uh, mentioned in the uh, eulogy, that's the official date of birth. But the actual date of birth, I believe, somewhere in the 19, 1915. That's why in the eulogy it's also mentioned he's 103 years old. His family grew to nine children, although two passed away when they were very small. Many years after he served as a trustee or the treasurer in the Martha Mai church that he attended. While serving as an active board member, Apajan's wife, Tankamma, had gotten saved. God gave her a vision about the glorious place that he was preparing for her. As a result, she obeyed her calling and accepted Jesus as her personal savior. Amaji repented all of her sins and got saved, baptized, filled with the Holy Spirit, and manifested her gifts in the Holy Spirit. Amaji would pray daily for Apajan, but he remained strong in his martyrdom of faith. Then God started to visit him in different ways. You already heard about he was healed from cancer. He used to chew tobacco before he came to this faith. And some of his friends, they died because of cancer. And they told him, Lucas, you next. Same thing that happened. He was infected with that. Uh, he was affected with cancer, both cheek uh, inside. And uh, he was nigh unto death. God gave him the vision. And in that vision, we heard us today. God, uh, uh, someone came in the white dress and uh, gave him wine and bread and lift, lift him up. And starting on that day, he was completely healed. And then, he was delivered from death that uh, we heard us today. The elephant attack, that was also, of course I said before that uh, Amaji got saved and he was praying, but he wasn't happy with Amaji. And one day he was in that tension, he was going through the, uh, through the uh, forest, that's the time the elephant attack that happened. And he, uh, when he came back after that incident, maybe you all heard of the incident, he came back and asking Amaji, let's bring the mat. We're going to pray to her. But she was surprised. She was thinking, what happened to this man all of a sudden? God wonderfully dealt with him. They both sat down. They uh, but he gave his heart to Christ. Many of his relatives came to Christ through him. Just like Brother Benson said before. Benson, Brother Benson's grandfather, we call him Aura Chaim. Brother Abraham, he came to this faith in the early times through a pigeon. This uh, story I, just, I heard yesterday from my oldest brother-in-law in India. He helped to start a church in our native place, Kony, by renting a small house. <coughs> Abhijan was a righteous man of integrity, few words, a man of character. He was very strong. He was a peacemaker who loved the servants of God and the work of God. He made it a priority to attend all the meetings, just like my wife said. Those times there was so much persecution going on. I just want to add one thing. One time, the ministers, they're having a, you know, they're meeting conducted in a small tent that is made of wood, uh, maybe some dirt, brick, and uh, on the top, it was covered with coconut leaves, as you all know. One day, the Faith Home uh, Brethren, they went for a visit and they came back. It used to be there is a tent and there is a well to collect the water. When they came back, nothing is there. They see a plantation of banana trees, banana plants. That means, you know, they demolished the tent. They put the whole thing in the well. They covered it. And when they came back, there is nothing there. The persecution of Pajan, when he came here in the U.S. in 92, and after that, he told me a lot of stories, a lot of things that happened. 
I wrote it down, I can't find it now, but it's somewhere. But he told me a lot of stories like that, you know, we went through a lot of persecution at that time. Apajan's son, when he came to faith in 1957, Apajan's uh, one son, Babu, he was three years old, he died. So he just left the Madhomai church, came to this faith. He had the Bihar, no cemetery. So he buried uh, his son in the same compound. So everybody was angry and mad. People don't want to bury their, uh, somebody in the same compound. So his family members and others also was very angry. That's the reason I believe he was beaten during that Sunday school procession. He was badly beaten and the tooth came out. And I believe, you know, yesterday my, my brother-in-law in India, he said, and that's why his one side is when you can see the cheek is so inside. My wife said about the Tari meeting and everything, he was the leader. If you don't go to Tari meeting, it's hard for everyone to go because, you know, they have to go through all this river and all this stuff. It was so much, so everybody was depending on him. He was in the front, in the water, holding Leelam on the shoulder. The water level was almost the shoulder. Leelam can feel her feet in the water. That's the way it was. But he never uh, stayed back home or anything. You know, he loved to go to the house of God. He made it a priority to attend all the meetings. Then, Our sister in charge of our Patnandita Center of Faith Home told my mother this week, after hearing the uh, message of the departure of our Apajan, uh, that Amaji said, in those times there was no food or money in the Faith Home. And the church was going through so much persecution from others too. This said Apajan and Amaji would always bring something to the Faith Home and was a great help to the work of the Lord. Now we have a church almost this size into that place in Coney. Beautiful parking lot and a very beautiful church. He had a, he had a heart of gold and helped everyone as we, had, as we heard before. Apajan's son, Scale Thomas, first came to the U.S. and eventually brought the whole family over here. Then he went back and in 1992, I believe, Apajan and Amaji came back to the U.S. As, as immigrants. Now, I believe around 26 years they've been here. Few years they stayed with us and they, then they came to uh, Brother Thomas and Sister Kunyama's house. I, just, I, really want, you know, I really want to thank God for my brother-in-law, uh, Brother Thomas and Sister Kunyama. The God, God gave them abundance of grace and love towards their uh, uh, parents and they took care of them very well. I thank God for them. And uh, for many years he lived with his children and in family in India, but in 99 his family suffered a big loss when his son, Kale Thomas, passed away in Maryland. Another travesty to Apajan's life was when his grandson, Biju, passed away in February 2011 and Apajan's son Daniel passed away in August of the same year. He was a good gardener. Somebody said that yesterday, but I was thinking, one, one year we got an Asianet Award for gardening, is that right? Yes. And I saw a nice trophy in the house. That trophy was given by Asianet News or somebody. They, when they came and they checked the garden, it was one of the best. So they, Apajan was behind all these things. And then, at the end of his life, you know, Apajan lived there to see 103 years on this earth, to live to see nine children, 21 grandchildren, and 27 great child, uh, great grandchildren. Through the testimonies we heard yesterday, we know that Apajan planted good seeds to all his children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. They all testified yesterday. When he was preparing for his departure, he would set time to pray for everyone, not only for his family and friends, but all the believers, servants of God, everywhere in the world. And recently, Apajan went into the night, uh, apologized to Amaji, and Amaji apologized to him, holding hands together. They prayed in the night. He took good care of Amaji. 
If I say that, I have so many things, and Apitam was very good at making tea and all these things. I remember, and I, whenever I visited him, he go to the kitchen and he made tea, beautiful tea. I thank God for all that God has done in his life. Apitam gave all his properties and uh, everything to the, the children long before, I think around 25, 30 years back. He didn't have anything, he had no money in the bank, so he was looking for that glorious city God was preparing for him. He wasn't bedridden, he had no diabetes, no blood pressure, or any other unusual illnesses such. And uh, even though he was very weak because of his age, few days before his departure, he told his children that he was leaving, including myself. He came and visited him, and he told us, I'm leaving. And he laid his hands on us and prayed. And on that day of death also, but he did all his daily routines by himself. He drank uh, his kanji and uh, the rice soup. After 9 p.m., he asked for water and went to relax a little bit. A few minutes later, he shouted hallelujah three times and slipped peacefully in the presence of God for his eternal rest. The Lord who started a good work in his life, he completed it at the right time. I have so many other memories to say about our dear Apache. One thing uh, I wanted to say at the end, we all know God, but uh, one thing that we need is we should have the assurance. We all should have the assurance that if we die today, or if Jesus comes today, we should be with him. Otherwise, whatever we do is a waste. Probably we can pray, we can do a lot of things. But it showed a good example. If we don't uh, follow that example, there is no use of it. So make sure everyone have that assurance that if we die today, we'll be with him in heaven. Or if Jesus comes today, we will meet him in the sky. May God bless you. Continue to pray for the family. Thank you. Praise the Lord. <coughs> we are here this morning to celebrate the life of our present Luke Chai. He had a wonderful life in this world. I lived this world more than a century. So praise the Lord. As we all know, last Monday evening, he had been promoted to his center of form. And now he's enjoying in the presence of God. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Apostle John says, I heard it. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from henceforth. They, they may rest from their labor and their works. Of course, we are going to miss. And we are sad that he's gone from, from our midst. But the heaven is rejoicing now. Of course, we have a home that we will that we have, uh, that, that we have a hope that we will see him one day on that good show. Luga Chai was a prayer warrior. He used to pray day and night, and he prayed for all of our dear ones. By name by name, he remembered their name. He was a very, he was very sincere and a loving person. He loved the Lord with all his heart. Many times he has been persecuted for proclaiming the word of God in, in the streets. Luca Chai and my father, they were the first cousin. Luca Chai is my uncle. I am his nephew. He almost looks alike. I loved him so much and he loved me very much. I used to visit him and or call him. And if I didn't go and see him, he would ask me about me what happened to him. Whenever I go, I had to pray for him. Then he said, You pray for me. I'll pray for him. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we heard that one we were the members of the uh, Muslim Church in Kondi. Um, in the midst of in the middle of 1950s, there was a revival in that place, and many of our uh, people uh, uh, filled with the uh, Holy Spirit. And this was the beginning of the Pentecostal 
uh, churches in, 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 in Kwan. For the last 80 glorious years, they had a wonderful life together. They were like a love box. One person can hear well, another person cannot hear very well. Another, another, one person can see very well, another person cannot see very well. That was it. That was the, their life over there. But in his life, and the sadness and the heartbreaking day was the death of his son, Kale Thomas, in Maryland. He came in this country in 1970, and he brought all his siblings in this country. Then the death of his son, Kunyuman, on August 4, 19, uh, 2011, then after, uh, before that, when their grandson, his grandson, Biju, on February 21st, 2011. You also heard that when we had a small boy, four years old, and died in uh, uh, the 1950s, and buried in that ground, and they have this lot of problem because of that one. Uh, that was, and he had a head for good to, 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 uh, so much persecution because of that one. All his children loved him so much, and they took care of him very well, especially Kunyama and Thomas Kuti. And we really appreciate what they have done for the last 24 years in this country. Last few days, look at us know that his time is very near. For near for his departure, and he was ready for it, and he told his children that he's going home. Thus, he went his eternal home, lifting his both hands, saying, Praise God. Let me read one, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 16, and 18, verse 18 verse, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a loud, with a shout, with the voice of the archangels, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. At this time, we extend Mine and all my families, condolences to the grieving family. All my family, some of our brothers, two brothers are here. One brother in Oklahoma, one sister in Oklahoma. Uh, and also in the, the condolences, they could not come. Praise God. May, may the peace of God that passes all understanding console and comfort the grieving families. Look at time. Good night. Good night. Thank you, God bless you. Praise the Lord. My name is Thomas Thomas. I am the first son in law of dear Apetsu. He is worthy to be praised. All the testimony was beautiful, wonderful. He is worthy to be and uh, his life was uh, wonderful. Last 24 years, me and my family got a chance to serve him sincerely and honestly with love heart. Several occasions, we were sick, but uh, without ceasing, he prayed strongly and uh, we hid. As you almost everybody knows, we had a, we have a small business. <coughs> Last uh, 24, 28 uh, years, I am running that business. In that business, he was my best hand. Some several mistakes happened, but uh, he corrected. Several people, uh, the things, the goods they take uh, and away, they run away. Then after he calculate, sometimes I calculate, there was a mistake, but uh, he calculate by hand. 
One time, one Staten Island man came and he took uh, some items and he, uh, extra $100 he missed to, give, missed to give to me. Then after he left the place, then he said, you see, you don't do like this business, you will lose everything. <laughs> anyway, I got that much. He was a very, very good farmer. He was very interesting in uh, farming and uh, masons. You don't know, you believe uh, this uh, one time from backyard, you know, Pava Capital, $5,000 he got at one time that uh, sold in the store. That is a wonderful. The Asian people came and they took the picture and everything. Whatever you do, whatever you touch, that is a blessing. Many people come and praying for him, that is a blessing. I don't know how, I never see a man like this pray. Last 24, 25 years he's with me and I saw day and night he was praying. Mr. Ford, he helping me too, and uh, his wife, he was a uh, amateur, he take a red too. Sometime he is a doctor, he injected something, uh, <laughs> insulin and everything, and give the medication also sometime. Anyway, he was a very, very smart. He was a very gentle man. He don't want to talk too much. His prayer, his uh, writing, his language, is, uh, everything was beautiful, beautiful. I am the witness of that. He was a very holy man. He was a very strong man. You, you saw the, how many children and grandchildren, they all are come and uh, bless them everything. I am sure all these children will be blessed by through his blessing. Sure, I, am, I understand that. Anyway, a person was a wonderful man. He was a, uh, a good giving man. He was a good prayer warrior. He was a holy man. In his, in his dressing, in his uh, foot, foot style, in his uh, all the attitude, in all the way, he was a very nice man. He liked you. He was like too much banana. I never see the people like that of banana. Only his uh, favorite. Uh, uh, item. And one fish was, his, uh, that fish name is Butterfish. <laughs> he liked too much. And I buy for him all the time. Whatever I, I serve, I got a good chance uh, to serve him and my all children, uh, my grandchildren, my all children. Uh, time to time come and, uh, and uh, pray for him and birthday celebrate and give him. Well, what a wonderful family we are. I am very happy to say that. This time, I know he is one day he will come. I read one page. Daniel told last. But go thou thy way till the end be. For thou shalt rest and stand in thy Lord at the end of the day, he will stand, he will come. One day I will see him and he will take his reward. He will take his portion. I'm sure he will raise him up. We will see you in a Bayula, sure, very soon. But I have a lack of time, I am not going further. I know all are waiting for other message and uh, thank you for all the goodness this time. And taking two minutes for the condolence, a uh, uh, word of thanks. Uh, Brother Babu, can you interpret? Priya Pachindi, where are you going with this? 
connection with the home call of beloved opportunity. We are grateful to all those who came from near and far. Dallas in the area, Priya Johnson and Shilu Vandakunda. Uh, brother Johnson and Shilu came from Dallas. From Philadelphia, there are so you many see Staten Island. There are many from Staten Island here. We are grateful to all those who came from diverse places. We again want to thank God all those who came and supported in prayer while he was uh, suffering. Thank you all for attending this blessed funeral. Many of our friends are also here. Since there are many, I don't want to mention the names. Brother Ben's name, Sisters New York, the name of New York. First of all, we are grateful to Brother Benson and uh, Sisters. Kashta Dile Prayasthili, Roga Dile Thakka Samedhikarana Onna, Prabhati Kheem, Manikri Hiki, Avar Kuventa Dela, Avudeshya Ngurta Dainal, Yandu Devidesh Tuti. Thank you God for they were able to comfort and console and encourage uh, uh, them. Pinne. Uh, thankful to the funeral home. Park funeral home. Uh, park funeral home. Uh, service is excellent and I pray that God will bless them all. Well. studio. Uh, the photographers. So action studio. Uh, for all their organizing capacity and uh, uh, every support, I want to thank them. All the believers in the church have supported us. We are thankful that they all prayed for us. Our colony is in our midst. Pastor Joss is also here. Praise God for the Lord has brought other servants of God also. We are praying for all of our sisters. Those who have taken trust to the church and to the church. We again need your support and prayers. Uh, Machi, who is almost 100 years, is sitting here. Uh, May God help Machi also to get a good I forget you one point. Please forgive me that. Uh, uh, last Saturday, uh, as I was about to go to my shop, uh, told me to stay. Uh, Wanted to tell me something. Uh, what is it, Abhijan? Whenever I go, he lay his hand on me and prayed. I thought it perhaps that is the reason. No. What happened, Abhijan? What is it? I want to tell you one thing. I want to tell you one thing. What is it? Do you need anything? I don't need anything. You have given me a lot. More than everyone you love me. I am loving you. I want to tell you one thing. Today I will go. Where are you going? Raise this hand and point it towards heaven. Uh, my wife was with me. 
When I heard, I was greatly grieved. I embraced him. But then I won't let you go now. I won't let you go now. You were a great blessing. I am uh, helped only because of your prayers. I went to the shop. After four hours, I asked my wife, How is Apachan? Is he all right? You heard about Apachan? He said he wanted to go. But after a few days, on Monday around 9 27 p.m., while we were all around him, Asked for some water. I gave him some water. Thereafter, he raised his hands and gave his soul to the Lord. Thanking God for we were able to see the end of righteousness. For all his benefits, we praise God.
say with all sincerity, this dear beloved man lived as a saint, and God, through the hardships of the life, not denying the faith, defending the faith, living for the truth, enduring hardness as a good soldier of Christ. It is said that when a man honors God, God honors him. I looked around the room and to see the, the wife the children, the grandchildren, the great-grandchildren can make up a church itself. This dearly beloved man has left a, a legacy. We speak about it, we've heard about it, but this is a legacy. He was ready to meet the Lord. A shock is a pile of sheaves of grain, a bundle of grain. And very quickly, I want to go to Leviticus chapter 23, verses 10 through 12. Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come into the land which I give unto you, and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest, and he shall wave the sheaf before the Lord, to be accepted for you. On the morrow after the Sabbath the priest shall wave it, and ye shall offer that day when ye wave the sheaf and he lamb without blemish of the first year for a burnt offering unto the Lord. So this, uh, this sheaf of the shock is very, very symbolic. This was a special presentation to God being the first fruit of the harvest waved in the air before the Lord in God's presence. This is very profound in the sense that uh, it symbolizes, first of all, Jesus Christ. His resurrection and Jesus Christ being risen unto the Father as our great high priest. Jesus Christ being the first of the first fruits, the first fruit unto God. And we, and our dearly beloved Lucas Hoppachin, even as we are alive today, the Word of God, to one can live a life pleasing to God in old age or young age. Just seeing his last testimony with the servant of God brought gladness to my heart and to see the affection that he had for the servant of God and knowing that this testimony was going out for us. Dearly beloved, let us remember the day is very short. Harvest time is coming. Very soon. Every one of us will be a way of offering presented into the presence of our great God. Hallelujah. And may God find us ready to meet the Lord when he comes. 
For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and the dead in Christ shall be raised up first, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So forever we shall be with the Lord. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we all shall be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, but the trump shall sound, and the dead shall be raised up incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption. This mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible have put on incorruption, this mortal has put on immortality. Then shall be brought forth the saying that's written. Death is swallowed up in victory. Oh death, where is our victory? Oh grave, where is thy stain? Let us all stand. God has given us a witness today that we, as mere mortals, we can live a life pleasing to God in this body. And let us, before we pray, let us say hallelujah to the Lord. Like our dear beloved, Lucas Uppachin, let us just say hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise him. Bow the heads in prayer. Holy righteous Father, we thank and praise you for Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the life of Lucas Oppachin. We thank you, Lord, for raising up such a testimony for a man of God. A man of God who now is enjoying the excellent presence of God. And we pray that you'll continue to comfort the family. Lord, we perceive that they are comforted with the comfort of the Holy Ghost. By the words that we've heard, the life, the sweet Savior that our dear brother has left on this earth. And Lord, Though he is dead, yet he lives, because he lives in Christ. We also, Lord, we want to be able to experience that life in Christ down here. So like Upperton, we can have a glorious life with Christ in eternity, that we all may be prepared to meet the Lord when he comes. We thank you for the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. In the holy and precious name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen.
Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in the love of God our Father, in the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost, abide and remain and rest upon us all until Jesus Christ comes in glory. Once again, hallelujah. 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 Let us just give the Lord also a wave offering. Let's give our hands to the Lord. Amen. Also in honor of Lucas Alpachin. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. At this time, we'd like to give everyone an opportunity to bid farewell this morning before we depart for Pine Lawn Memorial Park. At this time, we'd like to make some announcements. At this time, we're going to ask all friends and relatives, starting with the folks who are standing in the rear of the chapel, to come forward, utilizing the right side aisle of the auditorium. We're going to ask you to bid farewell here this morning. At this time, we are on a tight time schedule, so we will ask, please do not greet or bid farewell to the family here at the sanctuary this morning. That can be done after the committal at Pine Lawn Memorial Park. We will ask you to bid your farewell, step directly past the immediate family and return outside to your vehicles, turning on your headlights and, fence and flashing hazard lights, utilizing the right side aisle of the sanctuary. We would like you to step outside and also collect a, fun a funeral procession tag, which is going to be available at the rear doors of the sanctuary out to your cars. All of the drivers can hang these in your rear view mirror, along with your headlights and hazard lights to identify that we are traveling together on the road this morning. Once you step outside and you have all of your passengers, we will ask you to line up in front of the church. We will be guiding you to Pine Lawn Memorial Park. The route that we are going to take, we are going to travel west on Route 110 until we come upon Conklin Street. We are going to make a right-hand turn traveling north until we come upon Pine Lawn Road, at which point we will make a left-hand turn. We will be entering the cemetery in entrance West Gate 3. We ask that if you become detached, please go directly to Westgate 3. Do not venture into the cemetery alone. The cemetery staff has strict rules and regulations that all the vehicles that are traveling with this particular funeral are to travel together so we don't block any other funerals this morning. The same way that we do not wish to, anyone to impede us when we arrive. So at this time, we're going to ask for your cooperation. And of course, at this time, first and uh, lastly, but not leastly, we'd like to thank everyone on behalf of the immediate family for all of your attendance this morning. And we'd also like to extend a special thank you to all the past pastors and clerical staff that have guided us upon this journey this morning. We thank you. So at this time, we'll ask friends and relatives, starting with folks standing in the rear, to come forward. And the ushers will ask the family and friends in the rear seats to step forward aisle by aisle and row by row. We thank you for your cooperation.
പാർത്ഥദേശം സ്വന്ത നാട്ടിൽ സ്വന്ത വീട്ടിൽ നിത്യകാലം വാഴുവ സ്വന്ത നാട്ടിൽ സ്വന്ത വീട്ടിൽ നിത്യകാലം വാഴുവ Ladies and gentlemen, once again at this time, if you have paid your respects, we will ask for your cooperation. Please exit the sanctuary. Once again, please do not bid farewell to the family here at the chapel. Please go directly out to your cars. We're asking for behalf of, of your cooperation on behalf of the family, so we're not late this morning. So please, if you have all the folks that are standing in the rear, this is to you. If you have paid your respects, we will ask you right outside with your best. Thank you. ഭാഗ്യവാൻമാരവർ നിശ്ചയം കർത്താവിൽ മരിക്കുന്ന മർത്യ ഭാഗ്യവാൻമാരവർ നിശ്ചയം ചെന്നു ചേരും വേഗമവർ സ്വർഗസിയോ പുരി ചെന്നു ചേരും വേഗമവ സ്വർഗസിയോ പുരി വിട്ടു പോകുന്നു ഞാനീ ദേശം അന്യനായി പരദേശിയായി പാർത്ത ദേശം സ്വന്ത നാട്ടിൽ സ്വന്ത വീട്ടിൽ നിത്യകാലം
cry for me. Don't shed a tear. I've been set free. No need to fear. God spoke to me. My time had come. He made a way to bring me home. Don't cry for me. My pain is gone forever. Don't cry for me. My body's been made whole. Don't cry for me. We'll soon be back together. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. I saw the light. I took his hand. We flew on high to the promised land. My soul lives on in a better place. With all his glory, with all his grace, don't cry. Cry for me. I'm well within my soul. My pain is gone. Please understand. My passing was in God's great plan. I'm with you still, each day and night. Just close your eyes. I'll hold you tight. Don't cry. My pain is gone forever. Don't cry for me. My body's been made whole. Don't cry for me. We'll soon be back together. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. I'm in your heart. I feel your pain. Don't give up hope. Our love remains. I'll wait for you at heaven's door. We'll meet again one day for sure. Don't cry for me. My pain is gone forever. Cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me. Don't shed a tear. I've been set free. No need to fear. Don't cry. Together, don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Don't cry for me. I'm well within my soul. Yeshu in 
Mm-hmm. 
This world is not my home, I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you. Heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. I have a loving mother just over in glory land, and I don't expect to stop until I shake her hand. She's waiting now for me in heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Just over in glory land we'll live eternally The saints on every hand are shouting victory Their songs of sweetest praise drip back from heaven's shore And I can't feel at home in this world anymore Oh Lord, you know I have no friend like you If heaven's not my home, then Lord, what will I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door And I can't feel at home in this world anymore I awake when I die, hallelujah, by and by I'll fly away Hey Some bright morning when this life is over, I fly away to a land on God's celestial shore. I fly away. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. Thank you for your presence here with us, Lord God. Thank you for the up and just life, Lord. And, and now, Lord, as we lay his remains to rest, we pray your presence and comfort, especially with Amici and all the family, Lord God. Your peace, Lord God. And we know that you are here with us, Lord God. In all of our afflictions, you are afflicted, and you are with us here today also, Lord God. Thank you for blessing this service. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen.
times shall be no And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair When the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore And the road is called up yonder I'll be there When the road is called up Except it die, and that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be, but bear grain. It may chance of wheat or of some other grain, but God giveth it a body as it hath pleased Him, and to every seed His own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds. There are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial, but the glory of the celestial is one. And the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differeth from another star in glory, so also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption, it is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a natural body, it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth earthy, the second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the earthy, so are they also that are earthy, and as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law, but thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not vain in the Lord. Glory to God. 
so many uh, testimonies we heard last night and this morning concerning Lucas Abachin. And uh, these uh, testimonies were made possible because of Jesus Christ in his life. Can we say Amen? amen. Praise be to God. So, so many years ago, in the early uh, 1950s, he accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as his uh, personal Savior. Thereafter, according to the Word of God, he obeyed the Lord in the waters of baptism to fulfill the righteousness of God in his life. God filled him with the baptism of the Holy Spirit and uh, he um, <coughs> continued with God all these years. Glory be to God. And the grace of God was abundant upon his life. Abedin's life became fragrant and beautiful because of the grace of Christ upon his life. Praise be to God. And now, of course, his uh, physical body is here, but the real apachan is in the presence of God. We thank God for the hope of resurrection. The word of God says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses uh, 16 and 17, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Praise be to God. As Christians, this is the blessed hope that God has given us the hope of eternal life and the hope of resurrection. Praise be to God. And according to the word of God here, at the trumpet call, the dead in Christ shall rise first. And I believe uh, the body of this Abachan of the rapture will be resurrected by the power of God. Here it says the dead in Christ shall rise first. So for a person to die in Christ, he or she must have been first born in Christ. And he had a born again experience, praise be to God. When Jesus Christ was here on this earth, he spoke about various spiritual births. In the Gospel of John chapter 3, we read about three spiritual births. Jesus said, unless a person is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So this affection was born again. There was a natural birth, but there was a spiritual birth again. So many years ago, when he heard the gospel, he accepted the gospel, he repented for his sins, and uh, he placed his faith and trust and confidence in Jesus Christ. He had the assurance of salvation. And that is why he was not afraid to die. Brother Thomas mentioned uh, this morning that uh, I believe it was Saturday, he told him, uh, today I will be with the Lord. And I was thinking on the way, perhaps Apachin would have uh, been with the Lord on Saturday, but Brother Thomas said, we will not let you go. So God kept him back two more days. That's the only thing I can think of. I was telling Brother Robin, Saturday he should have gone, but because uh, Brother Thomas said that we will not let you go, heaven hated it, we held him back for two more days. For two more days. But Apachin is gone. So he was not afraid to say, I'm going. Some people, when the time comes for them to leave this world, 
they are afraid they don't have the assurance of salvation but this apachin had the assurance of salvation he received christ into his life he repented for his sins and uh, the lord saved him praise be to god also jesus spoke about to other spiritual birds no time to explain all these things jesus said verily verily i send to say unto you except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of god then he said except a man be born of water and of the spirit he cannot enter into the kingdom of god so all these uh, three spiritual birds up in chen hard he was born again born of water and born of the spirit of god he walked with the lord and he joined the apostolic fellowship he uh, we heard in one of the testimonies one day they were having an open air meeting i believe and uh, somebody came to punch the pastor uh, but all of a sudden look us up and uh, uh, and, and uh, uh, jump in, in front of the that man and the pastor so he took the punch uh, that that punch and uh, he his uh, he was uh, beaten and i was thinking about it that's because of the love of christ in his life praise be to god all these years he walked with the lord and uh, the work which the lord began in his life was brought to perfection last monday night glory be to god amachi gave good testimony uh, about uh, apachan children grandchildren great grandchildren they all spoke so many beautiful things about him that's because the grace of god transformed his character so we give all the glory and honor to our god and he was a man of prayer he was a man of the word of god and he loved to come to the house of god surely God did a beautiful work of grace in his life and that work of, of grace was brought to perfection last Monday night and the Lord took him home praise be to God we thank the Lord once again for the beautiful and the fragrant life of this apachin and now we are burying this body here and at the rapture this body will be resurrected <laughs> by the power of god hallelujah Amen. jesus said i am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he be dead yet shall he live hallelujah amen dear children of god this is the blessed hope yes, god has given us the hope of amen. resurrection as children of god we can rejoice because this opportunity will be resurrected and so many saints of god who fell asleep in Jesus Christ will be raised up by the power of God praise be to God just quickly i want to mention that at the rapture two things will happen resurrection and transformation this apostate's body will be resurrected and the bodies of the saints of God at the time of the rapture will be transformed if the rapture takes place right now apachin's body will be resurrected and by the grace of god our body should be transformed that is why we should live for the lord our god here it says then we which are alive or remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the lord in the air and so shall we ever be with the lord Hallelujah. May for comfort to one another with these words. May the Lord comfort and strengthen the Amachi. Praise be to God on the children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, church members, families, friends. We all can be comforted because Apachan's body will be resurrected. One day we will see him. And as I mentioned, the bodies of the living saints of God at the time of the rapture will be transformed. That is why now we should obey, obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. We should live for the glory of God. We should allow the Spirit of God to little by little transform our character. 
and by the grace of god all by the grace of god in the end we will be just like our jesus believe that this is the work of god and the work which the lord began in apachan's life was brought to perfection the work which the lord began in our lives also will be brought to perfection so today let us once again give thanks to god for all what god has done in apachan's life and through his life and let us give glory to god hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah 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 praise you 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 Hallelujah hallelujah praise you praise you praise you praise you praise you hallelujah thank you lord praise you when we all get to heaven <coughs> Thank you guys. Behold I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on in put on immortality so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the same that is written death is swallowed up in victory o death where is thy sting o grave where is thy victory the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law but thanks be to god which giveth us the victory through our lord jesus christ therefore my beloved brethren be steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the lord for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the lord hallelujah 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 vikkada bala 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 shiya namaste nagadagiya hallelujah with the hope of resurrection we are buried in this body hallelujah without any doubt trusting in the grace of god we can say at the rapture from this very place Appetence body will be resurrected. Those who believe that word shall be praise God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. We thank the Lord for the dear mother. May the Lord strengthen her. Thank the Lord for. the children grandchildren great grandchildren all the family members church members friends gathered here may the lord strengthen us and prepare us also for eternity for that committing our lives into the hands of god shall we all praise god hallelujah praise you god praise you god 
praise you, Lord. Lord, praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jelly. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You need this board. Praise you, no. Lord. Praise you, 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 Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shall we close our eyes and bow heads in prayer? Gracious and loving Heavenly Father. We praise you and thank you for Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life. Lord Jesus, we thank you for all what you have done for us on the cross of Calvary. Especially, Lord, we thank you for the beautiful and fragrant life of Lucas. Hallelujah. So many years ago, Lord, he accepted Jesus Christ into his life. And he obeyed the Lord in the waters of baptism to fulfill the righteousness of God. You filled him with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And he was led by the saints of God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, the work you began in his life, you brought to perfection last Monday night. And by the grace of God, trusting in the mercies of God, we are sure that he is in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord God, as we read in your word, for the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. These are the comforting words. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, this opportunity's body from this very place shall be raised up by the power of God. Oh, he will be with the Lord in that holy city, New Jerusalem. Therefore, we give you thanks. Thank you again for the mother. Encourage her. Strengthen her. Hallelujah. To go forward. Thank you for all the family members. Lord, the seed of the righteous will be blessed. Amen. So continue to bless them. Use them for your glory. Prepare them for eternity. Thank you again for your holy presence, Lord, being with us today. All the dear ones who are gathered here, bless them. If there is anyone who does not have the, uh, the assurance of salvation today, Lord God, let that person receive Christ into his or her life and make sure Oh, sins are forgiven, and that person's name is written in heaven. We give you all the glory and praise to you. Keep us in your grace and peace. Make us ready for your soon coming. Thank you for doing it. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. And uh, we'll give the benediction uh, before that. Uh, let us just uh, once again give glory and honor and praise to the one who is the resurrection and the life, Jesus Christ. Let's praise him. Now once again, may the grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the love of God of our Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost, the Father and remain and rest upon us all, with us, until Jesus Christ comes in glory, we all say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
is love And the blessings that I love are days In the sweet by and by We shall meet on that beautiful shore Oh